Hello, I um, hope you're all okay. Uh, today I'm going to make roast parsnip and cauliflower soup. Um, this is a little spin on one of Gary Rhodes' uh, soup, um, one of my favourites. So yeah, but this time I'm going to roast it um, and give it a bit more of a nutty kind of flavour. Uh, yeah, so um, I'm going to try and sort of write down the recipe for this as I go, um, then I'll type it up and I'll send it out at the same time as I send out the video. Okay, enjoy. Okay, for this recipe, you're going to need three parsnips, one cauliflower, two sticks of celery, two cloves of garlic, put garlic in everything, um, one onion. Um, one stock, one stock cube, vegetable, both, um, honey to finish, olive oil, pepper, and salt. And also a litre of water for your stock. You may need more water uh, to, to put on top of the um, soup as we boil it. Okay. Right, so I'll need to prep my cauliflower. To get ready for it to roast. Which is quite an easy task. Just cut round the centre, let it fall apart. Just like that. Okay. not to waste too much. Okay, this is quite an old cauliflower, it's nearing the end of its days, so best use it up rather than wasting it. Okay, so smallish florets if you can. Obviously because we're going to cook them, we're going to roast them, so it's going to cook them in, in there. Just pull them apart like so. big ones in half basically. I'm just going to chuck them into my roasting tray. So, make sure you've washed your collie as well. And again, wash your parsnips. Okay, so wash and peeled. I'm just going to take the heads off and the tiny little bit on the end. Heads off. Okay. There you go. So I just cut them in half. Quarter and quarter again. A half and quarter, you know. Again with these and just straight down. So nice little chunks, because obviously we've got to put them into a soup, so we don't want them too big. Although they will be cooked anyway. Okay. Always remember to try and keep your fingers out of the way as much as possible. That will help save your fingers. But while you're at home, you could always practice your knife skills. Man's got skills. Knife skills. Okay, so I'm just going to spread them around. A bit of olive oil. This way you get a brand new olive oil. Um, just a little bit over. Okay, that's going to help with the roasting. I'm just going to move that around, make sure it gets as much coated as possible. Okay, nicely coated. Push my 
comes. Um, I'm just gonna onto there, just a little bit of salt. Not too much, so I don't want to over season. A little bit of pepper. Okay, I'm gonna whack these into the oven at 180 for a roughly about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, again, depending on either, it might need a little bit longer, but they need to be nice and golden brown. It might be half an hour, it might be a little bit more, but I'll be back as soon as they're done. Right, so while we're waiting for the uh, cauliflower and parsnips to roast, we'll just um, prep the onion, the celery and garlic. So again, just this, this is just sort of rough chop or slice. Um, because we're going to just chuck it all into a pot and sweat it off. So you don't need to be too finicky about it. Okay, and the same with the onion, so just in half and then wash your fingers because sometimes it can be a bit, a bit slidey. Let's just move the garlic out of the way. Again with that, so if that bit slides off, slip, got your fingers. Ouch, and I have done it before. It takes off the top of your thumbnail. But you know, hey ho, part of being a chef I suppose. Right, um, same with celery, straight in half, washed and cleaned. Um, again, just, just chunks this time. It was good to have a sharp knife. Nothing worse than a blunt knife. Especially if you cut yourself with a blunt knife. So much more painful. <coughs> okay. So that's that. Um, I will take you over to the pan and we'll sweat those things off. I've got my stock ready um, over there, so we'll, we'll head over that way. Right, okay, I've got a nice hot pan here. I'm going to first chuck in my onions. Lovely sound, isn't it? it smells great. But I'm going to check in my stove. I'm just going to kind of turn the heat down a bit. Uh, it doesn't matter if you get a bit of colour on here, because um, that's just going to add to the flavour. So if they do caramelise slightly, that's fine. Because obviously we're roasting our, our other veg. So the flavour is really good. And as you see, I've melted my stock um, in there when I add, add my other bit. Okay, so I'm going to sweat them until they're sort of clear. And once they're clear, then uh, we will add the garlic. Nice hot pan as well, okay. So I'm going to add the garlic now. And there's the garlic. Now this one I don't add any herbs to it, uh, simply because you want to get all the flavour out, your parsnips and your, your cauliflower. Honestly, it doesn't need it at all. It's such a flavour from soup. Hopefully you'll be able to get parsnips, cauliflower. You know, there's other veg, um, swede. You could try it with swede, that might be quite nice. Or celeriac, celeriac, beautiful. Celeriac soup, one of my favourites. See if you can get hold of them in the And if your shop hasn't been rampaged from all the hoarders. Um, right, so I'll stop that there. 
um, and then I'll just wait for the veg to cook and then we'll crack on. Right, so I've roasted my veg. That took 30 minutes. Um, and as you see, some lovely colour on there. Beautiful. Put that straight in. Straight in my basket. Oh, my fingers. Pan is very hot. flavour is going to come out as it cooks and honestly it changes its dimension in flavour so I'll just put that on on about nine uh, I'm going to give this a little stir and that will just go in like so right so I'm going to add a little bit more water because obviously we're going to cook it down. So in Gary Rose's recipe, he uses cream and butter. Um, I've got none of that, and it's just parsnips as well, and there's no celery. Um, so I, I've obviously tweaked it with the um, celery, garlic, cauliflower, um, but it still tastes banging. Um, so what I'm going to do, just to add a tiny bit more, just to cover, so I've got, a, and then we'll reduce that. Maybe another 200 mils of water on there. Okay, so we'll now just cook that out, uh, reduce it by half, and then I'm going to top it up, um, just with a little bit of oat milk, um, and then I'm going to blitz it, okay? Uh, rather than using cream, because um, I want Luke, uh, Max to have it, and he's obviously the allergic to dairy so yeah you can use um, the soya cream um, but I couldn't get any so I won't be using it okay right so I've just took it off the tripod for a minute um, I reduced it by half um, and then I added another 300 mils of oat milk which I, it's not on the recipe you don't have to add the oat milk um, you can just top it up with some more water um, bring it back to the boil take it off and then we're going to blitz it Okay, I've got my soups um, in the blender. I'm going to put a lid on. I may need a little bit more oat milk. Uh, the oat milk obviously just gives it a nice, also milky flavour. Um, or creamy flavour without the cream. So yeah, I shall switch it on. So I've got this one's a good setting. Um, and it's a good mixer because it allows me just to blitz it for the time I need. Right, the soup is blitzed nicely. I didn't add any more liquid. Um, it needs it, but saying that, no, I don't need it. Wow, okay, that then goes in back into my pan. Scrape out, it's quite a thick soup. I mean, if you want it thin, you can add, but I'm not going to because it's for me, this is beautiful. Okay, there you go. That is lovely. Right, so flavour wise, I'm just going to taste it again. Add some salt. I'm going to add some honey. Um, which works really well with the parsnip and the cauliflower. A couple of tablespoons. Give 
give that a mix in. What a beautiful colour. Oh my god. That is stunning. So a few little ingredients. Tiny bit more salt. Um, and then you've got yourself a good amount of soup to feed five to six, maybe seven people. So I'm just going to put this back on the heat and then on a very, very low heat. Um, and then I'll get a plate, plate it up and show you what I'll add with it. Okay, that's that. I'm going to plate some up. Lucas needs feeding. That will fill you up and keep you going for a good while. Okay, and I've just got some croutons, oh, actually a bit of oil first, so a bit of garlic oil. Because I love garlic, as you know. And some croutons, but I made some stale bread, which is nice. Basically, that's that. Thank you very much. Right, okay, thank you for joining me again. That's another demo done, a nice soup. Um, I will try and get the ingredients for the macarons. It might be a couple of days because um, I have got some chocolate here, so what I haven't, um, what I haven't got is any gelatin because I was going to make a, a whip as well to go inside them um, and maybe some caramel um, but I see what I can get hold of um, and we'll do that tomorrow so again stay safe keep clean um, keep cooking well not much else you do really cook clean look out the window go for your daily exercise exercise on a daily anyway because you know um, the shutdown is a long road ahead um, so keep fit if you can um, and try not to dwell too much on what's going on um, but yeah be safe alright thank you